Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Wednesday Devotions. Today it's with me, Pastor Natasha. I thought I would just highlight our virtual Bible school that we're doing in the evenings here this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, they've been a lot of fun for the staff. It's Pastor John, Courtney, Chris, and I as we lead um, this vacation Bible school about going beyond um, mission impossible, um, everything is possible with God. And we highlight, uh, the first day we highlighted, uh, what was it? Can't remember right now. Second day, we, we <laughs> yesterday we highlighted gratefulness. Um, and that's what I wanted to focus our devotion on this afternoon was on gratefulness, um, especially in difficult times. How do we be grateful? There are studies done, scientific studies done, that if we are grateful, even in the midst of the difficult times, that we can be healthier people, that we can be more mindful, we can have more empathy if we are grateful. Um, so of course I kind of scanned some scripture pieces and I found one from First Th Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Um, I'm going to start actually with verse 16. Pa uh, it's, it is um, written in this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Giving thanks in all circumstances. It would be interesting to hear our stories about giving thanks in this time of a pandemic, um, time of uncertainty, what we're grateful for. I can bet a lot of people are grateful for the sunshine, for the warm weather, for the lake, for the parks that we're able to go camping in. Um, we are grateful, even though we spend a lot of time together as a family, we're grateful for that. Um, as most of you know, Jared is not doing summer theater this summer, and it is his first summer not doing theater in uh, eight or seven years. And so our summer has been very relaxed. Uh, I've gotten some home projects done. Very grateful that we have this time together, even though he really misses the theater and his passion, his gift, his calling, um, but keeps very busy doing his day job and we keep very busy doing things together as a family. So we're grateful for that time that we have together, even though the circumstances are very different than what we've had in the past. Um, each day we have been given the kids a project, a mission to do. And the mission for today, for the vacation or virtual Bible school, is to create a thank you card. Give it to somebody that, and say thank you. And so I wondered what that would look like for my kids. Who or what would we be thankful for? Who would we write that letter to? And I am grateful for a friendship that I have. Um, my best friend is headed to Minot on Friday and we are all going camping together. We've spent time together as a family on at Disney World. We all went on a Disney World vacation together with my best friend. Uh, we went to uh, a wedding in Washington DC and Virginia area a few years ago. Um, so we've had these vacation experiences together and I'm just really grateful for her friendship for the time that we can spend together. This year we happen to be going camping together. <laughs> Could be interesting, um, but we do have somewhat of our own spaces. Um, my kids love her. She loves my kids. I'm grateful for a friendship that cares for my kids too. Um, not only cares for me um, and my husband, but also that my kids really want her to come and want her to be with us and vacation with us. So I'm grateful for friendship. Um, often we forget about those connections that we have when we're 
socially or physically distancing. Um, so we're grateful. I'm sure all of us are very grateful to have those friendships um, that we can look forward to and doing things together as a family. So have your kids write um, Vacation Bible School. You could still have time for your Mission Impossible or Mission Possible project. And that is to put up a write a thank you card. Um, I'm going to call my kids and remind them that they have to do a thank you card. And then you post a picture of that thank you card, of that thank you onto our Facebook page or email it to Karen um, at Zion Z L C Z L C at SRT.com. Email those pictures and you get put in a drawing for a gift card. So and then remember too the vacation or the virtual Bible school to remember to say virtual Bible school <laughs> is every night at 6 30 just this week. Um we have tonight and tomorrow night left. You can view those even after we do them live. You can view them on YouTube or on our Facebook page. And then when you view them on Facebook page, that's where you put the picture on, is on the Facebook page. So again, um, I will close with a word of prayer, a word of gratefulness. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks in all circumstances. We pray without ceasing, and we hope for what is found in Christ Jesus. A hope that we sometimes cannot see, especially in our difficult circumstances, but a hope that we get a glimpse of in our friendships, in our connections, in our family time. We give you thanks for family, for friends, and we rejoice in this. Amen. All right, we will see you. Um, we do have service on Sunday outside, hopefully the weather cooperating. We worship at 10 o'clock outside. The weather does not cooperate inside with guidelines. And we do have two baptisms this weekend, one, a private one on Saturday and a one on Sunday during worship. So we give thanks for those baptisms that are being able to be here. And so we hope to see you either virtually or at church. Thank you. Blessings.